So this is the first thing that you're going to need and that is modeling paste. This is the brand that I use. I love that it's nice and thick, holds its shape well and that it comes in such a nice big size. So when measuring out my materials, I don't weigh them or anything like that. I just play it by eye. Here I've just scooped out two scoops of my modeling paste and then I've given up on the knife apparently. And next I will go in and add some paint. I like to use heavy body structured acrylic paints and this one is also by Matisse. This has very quickly become my favorite go-to brand and as you can see here it is a nice thick creamy consistency and this is what makes it work so beautifully with the modeling paste because it is so thick it holds its form and shape so much better than what runny paint does. Okay, so I have played around with a few different ratios in the past, but I've found now that I like to use more modeling paste than the paint. I would say my ratio would be closer to 70-30, 70% modeling paste and 30% paint. But please keep in mind here that different brands of paint might require different amounts. So you basically just need to play around with your paste and make sure that it's thick enough that it holds its form when it's shaped. So if there's too much paint, your petals might look a little bit sloppy. If it's too heavy with the modeling paste, then you risk your petals cracking once they're dry. And if your mixture ends up too wet, all you need to do is go back in and add some more texture paste to get it back to that nice thick consistency again. Okay, so all I'm doing here is massaging the two products together, mixing them up and trying to make it nice and even and smooth. So the goal is that you should be able to scoop your paste up on your palette knife and it stay in the same shape that you scooped it up with once you turn your knife upside down. 